In F1 2019, you'll be invited to start your career by selecting a Formula 2 team. Driving for this team, you'll experience some key moments of a Formula 2 season, a thrill-packed racing championship in its own right, and the Formula 1. At the end of this feeder series, your choice of driver academy and your performance in F2 will determine the terms of the contracts offered by the teams as you embark upon your career in Formula 1 and begin to write your own chapter of motorsport history. MP Motorsport's new driver really commanding the race here. Devon Butler still ruthlessly giving chase. These two have been really scrapping it out for the early wins in the championship. And something's wrong. Butler sees his chance. Some kind of mechanical failure. Picking up speed again. It's unclear what the issue was. Can they still finish this race? Looks like an issue with the turbo. You've lost some speed at the top end, but you're very close to the finish. You can still compete and get some points here. Don't give up. Just do the best you can. We're all behind you. is approaching and wants to get past. Repeat, Lucas wants to pass you. Again, your teammate wants to pass you. I know you don't want to drop a position, but without your turbo, he's the best one to challenge for points further up the field. If you hold Lucas up, you could be denying the team points.
is 2.6 seconds. Seeing major wing damage, box, box, box. Always plain sailing today, but a very important win nonetheless. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? I think what won them the race was their ability to adapt. At every point, they delivered what was needed. They were calm and steady when they needed to be, but they were ruthless and aggressive when it was demanded of them. There wasn't anything out there that they weren't preparing to have. Let's see if they can keep it up this season. And look at that, they're making their way out onto the podium now. Great race from the MP Motorsport team, and I'm very happy to see them up there on the top step of the podium. And now, at the drivers, it was not the best weekend for our championship leader and their advantage. Sure. That was an exciting race. It was talking about quick interview. Just a minute. You say to the press can be very public people. Well, if that's true, you'll please. Remember, the more you can give me, this will go. Right. Turn a little this way for me. Perfect. Exciting race today. Let's get your perspective. So you and Lucas are the team. How are you settling in? 
Okay, so how did you feel about being ordered to give up the position to Lucas? Well, that's everything. Hey, look, I know that wasn't easy letting me pass, but it was the right choice. It was good driving. Yeah, yeah, that's how I do it. It's just good, not great. One in six. One in six makes the leap to F1. The other five are still watching their less talented teammates collect all their points. Shame, really. Great drivers never get their chance because they do it all for the team. Those, yeah. yeah, but it's the drive. We should get the rewards. You ever won a race in F1? That's how winners think. And remind me, how many F1 races have you won? Watch this space. At the end of this championship, I'll be the one lifting the trophy, and I won't use my teammates to nick the podium. Okay, I'm out. You believe what you want, Devon, but it's still early days. He's either very clever, or you're just a pushover. You really think if the situation was reversed, he'd do the same for you? You want to start looking out for yourself. No one else will. Look at them go! Devon Butler locked in wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing with his championship rival, desperate to shut them and stop them getting past. This contact! Butler simply nowhere to go. There was just no way for them to have avoided that significant damage. Not sure if that was down to recklessness or sheer aggression, but I'm sure the stewards are going to have something to say very shortly. He's still in this race. Okay, the stewards have awarded Devon a penalty. Push on, you can still catch him, you can still beat him. Devon in the pits. Devon's currently in sixth place. P6. seconds.
places down on Devon. currently in sixth place, P6. Race over, the stewards have black flag. That looked bad. Are you all right? Let me know you're all right. Thank you. 
is still in this race. Okay, the stewards have awarded Devon a penalty. Push on, you can still catch him, you can still beat him. Race Control aren't happy with your creative interpretation of track limits. They've given you a three second time penalty. Devin is in the pits, Devin in the pits. currently in 6th place, P6. If you continue to cut corners, the stewards will give you a penalty. is down on Devon. currently in 6th place, P6. Watching the car ahead. Devon's currently in sixth place, P6. Second penalty for obvious cutting your four places, Evan.
great maneuver. You made it look easy. Devon's currently in P5. Carlin have pulled off a sublime performance to secure the top. As we can see, it's time for the podium, and I can see the Carlin team underneath our commentary box going crazy as their driver walks out. It was a great win, and it means a great deal to this team. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It's a good result for Devon Butler, who... Bad luck out there today. Let's talk about it. It seems to me that collision with Devon clearly cost you a lot of time. Are you disappointed with the final result? So did you ever think you'd get the place back from Devon? I've seen that you and Lucas have been picking up a lot of points recently. What do you think of your championship chances? Great, well that's everything. Devon, Devon, stop. Not now, I'm busy. Hey, what are you doing out there? Seriously. I'm gonna celebrate my excellent drive. We saw what you did. It was reckless. You should have been black flagged. Yeah, and I wasn't because it was my line. You were in my space, you shouldn't have been. Next time, stay out of my way. No, someone could have been hurt. And that didn't happen, so what's your problem? My problem is that your actions out there are too dangerous. Listen, contact happens. Okay, took my penalty, but I kept it focused, kept it smooth, and came out on top. That's racing. If you want to play race director, then quit driving and take the job. Until then, I don't owe you anything. Devin, you don't get it. It's not me you should be apologizing to. Look, you grab your space on the track, and then it's all or nothing. That's just how it goes. And anyway, you still couldn't beat me, even with my penalty. So no hard feelings, okay? Not from my end, anyway. Chin up.
So here we are in... Okay, this is it. Last race of the season. All you have to do is finish in the points ahead of Devon, and the next time we see each other, you'll be the F2 world champion. No pressure then. Good luck. To check your MFD for a new strategy option. Devon's in P4 at the moment. incident. Okay, this is Jeff. I need you to stop cutting the corners. If you keep it up, the stewards will award you a penalty. Devon is in P3. We've been awarded a time penalty. We'll go against our finishing time at the end of the race.
is illegal. Return the position. Devon is in P3. Okay, you've been pushing your luck on the track limits too much. We've been given a three second penalty. Currently P2. We've been awarded a time penalty. We'll go against our finishing time at the end of the race. Hey, if you don't behave yourself from now on, we're going to end up disqualified. Well, that may not have been the finest race in history, but there's no question, that was a critical win. Talk to me, Davide. Was it everything you hoped for? Everything and more. Yet it all. The rivalry, the tension, the excitement. These two drivers have been locked in fierce competition all season, and to see That result also seals the Formula 2 World Championship title. Congratulations to our winner after an incredible season. And so... Bad luck out there today. Let's talk about it. Well, you went into this final race with the champion... Wow, that was a thrilling end to the season. But I imagine not the result you were hoping for. Wow, we've been hearing rumours of a possible future for you in Formula One. Care to comment? Great, well that's everything. Gavin, much as it hurts, we admit that was a great drive today. Congratulations on the championship as well. Well, I'm sure you thought you had me for a while, but I guess your luck just didn't hold out. Oh, uh, I haven't got long. Could I have a quick word? Sure. Privately. Oh, OK. I'll see you later then. So, I'm sure you've probably already heard, but if you haven't, I'm going to be racing in the F1 Championship next year. Now, I don't know what your plans are, but uh, let me give you some friendly advice. Don't try following me. For sure. You might get an offer from uh, one of the smaller teams, probably someone desperate, in peasant with car travel. And you won't ever really be able to challenge me. But you stick it out here for another year, now that I'm gone, you've got a fighting chance of winning next year. And if you can manage that, 
I'm sure one of the larger teams would love to have. There's a development drive. Oh, look out for yourself, yeah? Man, he does not want to race you. Stay in F2? Ridiculous! I was uh, listening to the whole thing. Too bad for Devon, though. I'd be shocked if you don't have an F1 contract offer already. And if my deal pans out, man, his head is going to explode. Ah, welcome. Come on in. Take a seat. It's time we had the big conversation about your next move. Your performance at the F2 Championships last year got you a lot of attention from the Formula One teams. Some of it more positive than others. I'm not so concerned with who does or doesn't like you. You'll have plenty of time to win the doubt is over. But I am concerned with our choices. They're narrowing as we haven't shown commitment to anyone. Now, as your agent, my advice is to make your decision now. Comfort and finer points, further down the line. I need you to review. You've earned every single one of these proposals. So take your time, have a read through, and don't get too hung up on specifics. Let's get you a Formula One seat. Excellent choice. From my conversations with them, they're going to be very excited to pursue this opportunity with you. I'll let them know our intentions immediately. I'll have to clean up some final details with them, but that's what you pay me for. Other than that, congratulations. You've earned it. Oh, hey, you're here. I'll catch up with you. Sorry, I'm just on my way out, but your workstation's at the back over there. It should be all set up on the network, but let the guys know if it isn't. From there, you can access all the data you need to help us direct. Get yourself settled and head out to practice when you're ready. I'll catch up with you later, okay? Welcome to your new team. There's no one with a more storied history than Ferrari. You're going to have to give it everything to live up to that heritage. It's going to be hard work, but when you see the Tifosi cheering you at Monza, it'll all be worth it.
first race of the season is always quite difficult for us trackside, and for those back at the factory as well, as it's the first time the car has run since winter testing. The more consistent mileage you can get in these sessions, the happier we'll be. In the unforgiving world of Formula One, free practice sessions are a vital part of any Grand Prix weekend. During your F1 career, you'll be able to utilise these sessions to complete practice pro which will help you learn the track and earn you points that can be invested in developing your car. You'll also be able to adjust your car setup over the course of these sessions to try and find those extra fractions of a second. The sporting regulations dictate that after each free practice session, you'll have to hand back two sets of your dry tyre allocation for the weekend. So get the most out of them while you can. that front wing, box now.
If you continue to cut corners, the stewards will give you a penalty. Okay, you have wing damage. This will be a major performance impact unless you box for a new one. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Wing damage, box, box, box.
Space Control aren't happy with your creative interpretation of track limits, they've given you a three second time penalty. second penalty for obvious corner cutting.
10 second time penalty for that last incident. 10 second time penalty. strategy option. our finishing time at the end of the race. time penalty for that last incident.
penalty will go against our finishing time at the end of the race. You've been awarded a time penalty for that last incident. You're going to get disqualified. Be more careful out there. Slow down before hitting the corners. We don't want to get a penalty.
have fun out there today. Good luck. if it takes too much damage. limits too much, we've been given a three second penalty. There's a yellow flag ahead. Okay, clear. Take it easy on the car. We can't sustain this level of damage. We 
been awarded a time penalty. We'll go against our finishing time at the end of the race. Hey, if you don't behave yourself from now on, we're going to end up disqualified. seconds. This is Jeff. I need you to stop cutting the corners. If you keep it up, the stewards will award you a penalty. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. 